Hello guys, welcome back to another video once again. Today we're gonna be making some delicious pambazos. These pambazos are a very traditional street food in Mexico. You can literally find them at every corner, especially during fiestas, ferias, school graduations, any type of event happening in Mexico, you're gonna see these pambazos. For this recipe, we're gonna be starting off with the ingredients. We're going to be using some teleras or some bolillos. I will be making a video soon on how to do your bolillos homemade but basically if you can find teleras or bolillos in the state that you're in you can go to your local walmart or target store and grab some rolls but if you can find some bolillos or teleras that would work even better 10 white potatoes one pan of chorizo i'm using the chorizo san miguel that i got at heb but you can also find it at any local store this is my favorite one 15 chile guajillos or chile california, 7 chile de arbol, 1 whole onion, a couple garlic cloves, 4 jalapenos or serranos, 10 tomatillos, some queso fresco, shredded iceberg lettuce, refried beans black or pinto, sour cream or table cream, and some salt. For the pambazos, we're going to be doing a couple steps. We're going to start off by prepping our potatoes. We're going to cut our potatoes into slices, then grab a couple of those slices and cut it down the middle and into slices once again. This should look about this size once you're all done. On a boiling water, we're going to add our potatoes, add salt, and cover for about 10 minutes. When checking your potatoes if they're ready, enter the toothpick into the potato and if it slides easily, then that's when you know it's ready. We're going to scoop out our potatoes and place them on the side. On that same water, we're going to add our jalapenos, tomatillos, chile guajillo, and chile de arbol. With the help of a spoon, submerge the dry chiles into the water to soften up the dry chiles. Cover and let it boil for about 5 minutes. After five minutes, your tomatillos should change color and we will be removing them from the water and adding them to our blender to make our delicious salsa. The chile guajillo and chile de arbol are going to continue to boil until the skin has softened and changed from a darker color to a lighter color. The tomatillos and jalapenos are going to be used for our salsa. We're going to add a cup of garlic cloves, a fourth of our onion, half a cup of our water where we boil our chiles and add salt. You can also add cilantro if you desire and blend. This salsa can be used for any type of meal that you would like to use it for. 30 minutes later, our dry chiles are ready to be used. We will add them to the same blender we blended our green salsa. Make sure to remove the stems from the dry chiles. Add a little bit of salt, onion, and garlic and blend for about two to three minutes. Once your salsa is ready, we will use a strainer to separate the seeds and the unblended skin that our chiles had. You can also use the salsa the way it is and not strain it. In my home, my mom and grandma would say we strain the salsa to help our stomach digest our food. I'm unsure if this is actually true. I do it because I was taught to do it always. In the blender, we will add a few ounces of water to shake our blender and get any extra salsa left in the blender. Add that water to the strainer and squeeze all the salsa out. This is how our salsa should look like. Not very liquidy, it should be more on the thicker side. On a hot skillet, we are going to add our chorizo. Make sure to remove the skin of the chorizo that's around it. Move the chorizo around to break it apart and continue to move constantly until the chorizo is cooked. I also love the vegan chorizo they sell at Walmart and Target from the brand Morningstar. This is another option if you don't wanna use regular chorizo. In my opinion, it tastes similar to the regular chorizo and sometimes even better. The chorizo will be releasing a little bit of oil. If you see that your chorizo releases a lot of oil, remove some of it out. We will add a little bit of diced onion and continue to cook the chorizo and the onion together. About seven minutes later, we will add the potatoes to combine the chorizo and the potatoes together. Remember, the potatoes are already cooked so we're just trying to combine everything together to get that flavor of the chorizo and the potatoes. After we have that ready, we're gonna continue with the actual pambazo. We're gonna grab your teleras or bolillos and cut them down the middle. You can cut them either side by side from one corner to one corner or from the middle across. 
Make sure you keep a little bit of the bolillo uncut so it can still have both sides attached together. On a hot skillet, we're gonna add a little bit of oil and let it heat up. With the help of our spatula and some tongs, we will submerge our bread to get covered in the chile guajillo sauce. Make sure to cover your bread completely in the sauce. After that, we will fry our bread and the skillet. With the help of our spatula, we're gonna squeeze down the bread so it can flatten up. And if necessary, add a little bit more chile guajillo to the bread on top. Once you see that the bottom side of our bread has already fried, we're gonna flip it to the opposite side and continue to squeeze the bread down to make it flat. Once our bread is nice and crispy, we're gonna remove it from the skillet and we will assemble our pambazo. Start with the layer of chorizo and potato and be generous with the portions. Add your refried beans, a little bit of queso fresco, drizzle some sour cream or table cream, add a little bit of your shredded lettuce, and to top it off, we're gonna add some green salsa. And this is how you get the amazing pambazo. I hope you guys liked today's recipe. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Share with your friends if you loved it. And comment down below any other recipes you would want me to make next. Thank you guys for continuing to support my channel. It really means a lot to me. I know I have been a little absent on this channel, but we're gonna continue making recipes from now on. This is it for today's video and we'll see you guys next week with a brand new recipe. Thank you and we'll see you guys next week. Bye!